This is Collection THX 1138, and this is a full gameplay video of my 1979 Kenner Alien board game. An exciting game of elimination and escape. I also have a how to play video with trivia on my 18 inch Kenner Alien and HR Giger art design book as it applies to the box design. That's linked in the games playlist at the end. When you see these screens I explain mistakes I made because demonstrating gameplay is fun but difficult. So they happen in movies and they happen here. It's a creative way to show it. Now I'll show you a recap of gameplay. We'll see if one astronaut can make it to the space shuttle Narcissus before all of the astronauts are eliminated by the aliens. Or if the aliens are going to win by eliminating all the astronauts first. We'll start with the red astronaut and alien. Right off the bat he rolls two sixes. When you roll doubles you move, then you get a free roll. He moves one, two, three, four, five, six. The astronaut's primary path is clockwise around the perimeter of the board. Unless they land on a shortcut space, which we'll look at later. He'll move his alien six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aliens can always take the shortcuts. He's taking the shortcut to try and cut off or chase down a yellow astronaut. You notice these Kenner alien tokens have eyes. So on Red's free roll, he moves an astronaut four spaces and his alien six spaces. And he can move a different astronaut if he wants to. He's going to move the same astronaut one, two, three, four, which happens to be another safe space. His alien has to move clockwise one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Coincidentally, on another safe space. So this is interesting. The yellow astronaut has to move six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. He lands on that safe space where the red alien is, so he is not eliminated. If that was a non-safe space, the yellow astronaut would have been eliminated. And once again, that's what the safe space looks like. The yellow alien moves one, two spaces, and he's on an air shaft space. On his next move, he can move to any other air shaft space. So we're starting off pretty interesting. Blue has to move one. He'll move his alien one, two, three, four. To also use the shortcut to try and cut off a green astronaut. Green moves five and two. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And one, two. And his alien is also on an air shaft space. So the next round will be interesting. Everybody has gone once. Now it's Red's turn. He gets a six and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six on an astronaut's choice space. So he'll probably take the shortcut next time. And you'll notice you can move through an alien space. His alien moves one, two, three. Now he's on an air shaft space. So we have one, two, three aliens on air shaft spaces to start the game. A five and a three. Now you're always going to move your astronaut first before your alien. So he'll move one, two, three, four, five. Let's see how the yellow alien eliminates this red astronaut. He rolled a three. He's on an air shaft space. And he'll move like this to eliminate that astronaut. He can move any combination. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. He'll move one, two, three spaces. And the red astronaut is the first victim. So he's removed from the game. An astronaut's life gets cut short on the shortcut space. Blue rolls two one, so he'll get an extra roll. He'll move his astronaut one space. His alien moves one space clockwise through the shortcut. And they'll roll again. A four and a three. He can move one, two, three, four on a safe space. He'll move another astronaut. One, two, three, four. Danger. Danger. Demonstrating the move options, I forgot to move the blue alien. It's never wise to leave an astronaut on the air shaft space. But it must be Ripley. We'll see why later in the game. We're back to green and he rolls doubles. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. And he'll get a free roll. Five and a one. He's going to move all of his astronauts out. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a four. His first astronaut was eliminated, so he has to move one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. On a safe space. Danger. All right, consider this oversight of director's cut that makes the game turn out more interesting. It turns out aliens are not perfect organisms, even with eyes to see. And solo gameplay demonstrations with Ridley Scott camera work is harder to do than it looks. So I didn't notice this until playback, but the blue astronaut never should have stopped on the air shaft, and the red alien should have eliminated him from his air shaft space. It absolutely affected the outcome of the game, but it made the game turn out more interesting. I put too much effort into it to reshoot it, so don't walk out of the movie theater just yet. It's still very fun. So let's continue this exciting game of elimination and escape from the Starship Nostromo. One, two. It's the same color astronaut, so he does not eliminate the astronaut. The game has to show some mercy. Blue gets a two and a one. A will move to astronaut's choice to take the shortcut on the next turn. One, two. To cut off or chase down the green astronauts. Green rolls doubles again. He'll move one, two, three, four, five, six to a safe space. And the green alien clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Elimination rule number five. If an astronaut is on the same space with his alien token, he can still be eliminated by another alien token. So the yellow astronaut is the second fatality of the game. We'll put him back in the box. Green gets to roll again. Two and a one. One, two to the astronaut's choice. And one on the safe space. Three and a one. One, two, three. On an astronaut's choice. And one at the entrance of the blue home base. Yellow gets a two and a three. One, two. One, two, three. And another double. So you can see doubles show up a lot. One from the astronaut's choice. The blue alien lands on the air shaft space with a re-roll potentially setting him up for an elimination. Five and a two. One, two, three, four, five. On his second astronaut's choice space in a row, the blue alien will use the air shafts. One, two. To eliminate another red astronaut. Goes back in the box. So red's not doing too good. Green gets a four and a five. His astronauts are relatively close together. One, two, three, four. I could go one, two, three, four and be awfully close to the same space. Green alien, one, two, three, four, five. Hunting down another yellow astronaut. You can see how terrifying this game can be. And little kids will definitely have nightmares. The middle gives you a nice area to roll the dice. A one and a four. It's the only one he can move. And he's on a safe space. So one, two, three. He'll be safe. Red can move one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four. To chase down this astronaut. Who's in the process of using another shortcut. They're intelligent, but they're animals, man. So now it's Yellow's turn. Yellow will move one, two, three, four, five, six to another safe space. It's getting crowded. One, two, to another safe space. Another double. Blue moves one, two. I'll hunt down Red's last astronaut. One, two. So blue rolls again. A one and a four. He'll keep moving this astronaut ahead. One to a safe space. One, two, three, four to an air shaft space. Just like the astronaut's choice, the air shafts are optional movement on the alien's next turn. 
4 and a 1. He'll move 1, 2, 3, 4 around the perimeter of the board. And lucky number 1 eliminates another yellow astronaut. So right now that's Kane and Captain Dallas for red and yellow. So here's a look at the Nostromo. 5 and a 3 for red. He has to move his remaining astronaut five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Setting himself up for a potential elimination. But really, as soon as you exit, you set yourself up for a potential elimination. Otherwise, you're always safe in your home zone. One, two, three, on an air shaft. Continuing to hunt down the blue astronaut in the lead. Yellow gets a three and a two. His remaining astronaut, one, two, three. The yellow alien will join the green alien, one, two. And talk strategy. So blue, let's see if he can move that astronaut. A two and a five. One, two, sets him up for elimination. Because a red alien can move one, two, and eliminate him. Or I could add insult to injury and move one, two. He doesn't want to move him 1, 2 either. So he'll go 1, 2. He'll move 2 spaces to a safe space. It's Green's turn. A 6 and a 1. He'll move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the astronaut's choice space. He'll use that shortcut. 1 on the safe space. We'll turn him around going forward. Or is a more menacing waiting for that yellow astronaut? We'll leave him facing like that. Red's turn with his last astronaut. And he rolls two sixes. An excellent roll to get away from that blue alien. But the blue alien is on an air shaft space, so it might not matter. Let's see how it works out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just missing the astronaut's choice space. So maybe it wasn't a great roll. His red alien is on a deadly air shaft space. Let's see if he can eliminate an astronaut. He can eliminate the green astronaut. Let's go crazy. One, two, scaring the astronaut. Three, four, five, six. Payback. Payback for his red astronauts. Now the green astronaut is in the box. So the blue astronaut's looking pretty good. He's got one of them in the lead. And he's using the printed rule strategy suggestion of keeping one astronaut behind safely in his home base. So if it looks like any astronaut can escape, it's blue right now. So red rolls again. A three and a four. One, two, three. Just missing the safe space. One, two, three, four. And there's nothing around here. So go one, two, three, four. Facing the green astronaut. That ends his turn. Yellow's turn. Two and a three. His lone astronaut won two spaces. His alien won two, three. To a deadly air shaft space. That is no fluke. Those aliens land on those spaces quite often. Let's see what blue can do. Alien blocking the roll. Four and a one. One, two, three, four. Getting close to the red alien, but comfortably far away from those aliens. However, the yellow alien is on an air shaft space, so he might as well be right next to him. One on a safe space, which is good for that astronaut, but he still has one more left. A two and a four. He'll be eliminated if he moves two spaces. So luckily he has a wide open area with no aliens right now. One, two. Not getting very far, but at least he's behind this air shaft space. One, two, three, four. He has no reason to take the shortcut. And even though Blue's on a safe space right now, he can still hunt him down. Let's see if Red can stay alive. Five and a four. One, two, three, four, five. He's close to aliens. The remaining red astronaut is safe now, but the yellow alien is on an air shaft space and can still hunt him down. The red alien will turn around. One, two, three, four, five. 
He'll turn around looking at those astronauts. Let's see what that yellow alien can do. And he only rolls a one. His remaining yellow astronaut, one, two, three, four, five. Luckily on the astronaut's choice space. He'll move one to another air shaft space. Blue still has three astronauts. So you can see how the game can play out. And yet another two sixes. Now in other games, rolling two sixes usually provides you with a bonus, but in this case, you just roll again. You could house rule it and say that you get two free rolls, or perhaps that you can split up the movement between astronauts. That would be interesting. This one's still in the lead. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll join the blue alien on a safe space. The blue alien moves one, two, three, four, five, six onto the astronaut's choice space. Or he can take a shortcut on the free roll to hunt down the yellow astronaut. A four and a three. Does he dare move ahead one, two, three, four? If he moves one, two, three, four, he's eliminated, so he's not going to move that one. He's going to move his other astronaut one, two, three, four onto another safe space. This alien will take the shortcut, one, two, three. Even though green's behind a little bit, he's still in good shape with two astronauts. Not a great roll for his alien, though. A four and a two. Let's move one, two, three, four. That's on an air shaft. The yellow alien is on an air shaft, and he'll pretty much eliminate him. So he'll stay there. Luckily, he still has another astronaut. One, two, three, four. He's close to that air shaft, but he's still safe. One, two, to a safe space. He's still close to an air shaft space. He's still hunting down blue, but he's on a safe space. Let's see what red can do. Six and a three. He has to move his lone astronaut six spaces clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did your heart race there? One, two, three. And yet another alien on an air shaft space. They're out for blood, that's for sure. Yellow's turn. A four and a one. Astronaut's choice. One, two, three, four. To take the shortcut. Danger. I didn't realize I used the red die roll when it should have been the white die roll. But it really didn't matter. And he's in a pretty safe space. Because an alien cannot move counterclockwise off of that air shaft space. One, two, three, four on a safe space. So there's nothing really going on there. It's not a big deal to keep that blue astronaut in his home base. This is Blue's turn. So he's not rolling too big. So the best move is a one. The other astronauts are pretty happy about that because he didn't get very far, but he's still close to an air shaft. Danger. After I took a break, I forgot to record a couple turns. So let's pick it up with the Yellow's turn. It's the Yellow's turn. He rolled double, so he'll move, then get a free roll. So he can move one, two, three, and he can't use the shortcut because he didn't land by exact count. One, two, three, hunting down these astronauts, especially since they get a free roll. That's a legitimate roll. Two more threes. One, two, three. So he's doing okay. He's going to move one, two, three. He's going to try and cut off blue. Plus he can move around the shortcuts. So we'll see how that plays out. That's amazing. Three doubles in a row, so it does happen. Yellow moves one, two, three, four on the same space as a green. So alien takes the shortcut. One, two, three, four. These are the rolls of doubles. Any player who rolls doubles gets a free roll. However, only two free rolls are allowed each turn. So that's his second free roll on his turn, and it does happen. So now it's Blue's turn. He gets a six and a two. His lead astronaut moves two to a safe space. His alien will take the shortcut. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll try to move around here where green and yellow are. Danger. The camera was off, but green rolled a one and a four. He'll move his lead astronaut to the safe space. The green alien moves one, two, three, four. However, blue continues to do pretty well. It's a safe space. So the astronaut stays there. Red got a five and a two. One, two, three, four, five. He's also on the safe space. 
Here's the printed rules on how an astronaut could still be eliminated on a safe space. Rule number four, if two or more astronauts occupy the same space, they are all safe from aliens. However, if an alien lands on this space and all the astronauts leave but one, the one left with the alien is eliminated. The green alien is going to have to leave before the red astronaut, so no one will get eliminated on their next turn from that space. One, two, and he's one behind blue on the safe space. It's yellow's roll. And he gets another double. That's four in a row. But they're only ones. But he gets a free roll. He'll move one. And one. There's another free roll. A one and a four and his double streak is ended. One to a safe space. One, two, three, four. Where he can try to cut off blue. Or chase down green. So let's see what blue can do. He gets a double. Two fives. That should push him out to the lead even more. One, two, three, four, five. So why did he get to take another shortcut? It's because he reached this blue line. And that tells him he made it all the way around the board. So that's how shortcuts can really help you out. The blue alien will move one, two, three, four, five. The reason is, is because he has a free roll, so he might be able to chase one of these two down. So here's Blue's free roll. A three and a four. One, two, three. He follows the arrow. And this blue line tells him he has to move clockwise in the inner corridor around the Narcissus space shuttle. So he's getting close to winning. One, two, three, four. Lands him on an air shaft space. He'll have a decision to use it or chase down these astronauts. So now it's Green's turn. A three and a two. And that hurts. One, two, three on the air shaft. So he's pretty much done for. Blue will probably take him out. One, two, to another safe space. So he's not going to eliminate those astronauts anytime soon. Red's turn. A double will help him track down blue. He gets a three and a four. Red moves one, two, three, and he's on the safe space again. So finally some good luck for red. One, two, three, four. Now it's yellow's turn. He's going to take the shortcut to get into the inner corridor at his arrow. So let's see what yellow can roll. A strong five for the astronaut and a weak one for the alien. But at least he can take the shortcut. One, two, three, four, five around the perimeter of the board. And one. Blue's turn. Let's see if he can get doubles. Now a four and a six. One, two, three, four around the perimeter of the board. This blue alien is on an air shaft space. The green astronaut is on an air shaft space. So guess who's going to get eliminated? Blue can be very creative about this. He'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And green is down to one astronaut. He joins the others in death. Here's what the board looks like now. And it is Green's turn. So Green did not get a chance to move his astronaut. He could have with a one. This green astronaut is not getting anywhere fast. Another one. And a one, two, three, four. He's pretty far away from his entrance into the inner corridor. Let's see if Red can get a double so his alien can track down Blue. He does not. He gets a 1 and a 3. His remaining astronaut was on the safe space, so he moves ahead 1. His alien moves 1, 2, 3. Thing is, he has to get all the way around here to get to the inner corridor. Let's see if the yellow alien can get in the inner corridor. He rolls a double. That's going to be pretty big for him. Good for his alien and not good for the astronaut.
That's his last remaining astronaut. He has to move him. One, two, three, four. And he lands on the same space as the blue alien, being the first player to have all three of his astronauts eliminated. It's game over for at least his astronauts. Danger. I missed the box toss, so let's try it again. It's game over for at least his astronauts. Alien rule number three. If all of your astronauts are eliminated, keep moving your alien token. You might eliminate all your opponent's astronauts and face a tie. You still only move on the red die, but keep rolling both dice so you can still roll doubles and get an extra turn. He'll move his alien 1, 2, 3, 4 into the inner corridor, and since he rolled doubles, as the rules state, he can roll again. He rolls both dice. He gets a big five and a one. So he didn't roll doubles, but he got a good roll for the alien. One, two, three, four, five. He's hunting down that blue astronaut. This could be a game changer. Hiding behind the alien. Door number one is a six and a double. That is huge for blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's one, two, three, four, five, six spaces away from winning the game. Although he does not have to do that by exact count. His blue alien is on a tear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eliminating the last green astronaut. So you can see how deadly those air shaft spaces can be. Blue gets his free roll. A three and a one. One, two, three. He pretty much has the game wrapped up. Could even take a victory lap. His alien is winded from so much work, so he'll just move one. Blue is really clean in house with his alien and his astronauts. Green's alien moves, tries to roll a double. He got a three and a one. One, two, three. We'll roll for red up in the corner so we can see it. A three and a six. Red still has an astronaut. One, two, three. But he misses the shortcut. We'll turn him around so he can run. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yellow needs to roll a double for his alien. Almost a four and a five. So that's one, two, three, four. Here's a moment of truth. One, two, three. The three or more. Blue wins. And he does just that. Hiding between the aliens is a three. So Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo. One, two, three. Now you do not have to get there by exact count. Rules of escape and elimination. Astronauts. Number two, escape route. You do not need to enter the Narcissus by exact count. But the blue astronaut did, and that must have been Ripley. The fact is, this was the astronaut that should not have stopped on an air shaft early in the game, and should have been eliminated by the red alien who was on an air shaft space. So for demonstration purposes, it worked out pretty interesting in the end. So that is the excellent vintage board game Alien. An exciting game of elimination and escape. A game without conscience, remorse, Delusions of morality. The option to override automatic detonation expires in T minus five minutes. Check out my playlist of Alien and Star Wars collectibles. Please subscribe and click send me updates so you don't miss another interesting video. Once again, thanks for watching.